Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Ernest Adiano III. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. Y'all guys are the third fam, and we break down rap music here. We break down lyrics here. We take it in depth. This is reaction on steroids, you know what I'm saying? And today on tap, we got Logic No Pressure Freestyle. Somebody commented on one of my videos that he put this out yesterday. You know I had to react to it because he said that it's got bars, and I've been missing some bar-heavy Logic. I don't know what it is about Logic lately, but the general consensus is that he is not the Logic of old. Yes, he's flowing with aggression and he's got that typical signature Logic flow and those type of things, but there's certain things about Logic music that kind of don't appeal to me. And one of those things is that for some reason, I don't know what it is, it's hard for me to pinpoint, and this is something that a lot of people say about Logic, it's hard to pinpoint. It just doesn't seem to have that X factor, it doesn't have that passion, it just seems uninspired. And if there's anything that anybody knows about hip hop, true hip hop, not club rap, not mumble rap, not braggadocious rap, just true hip hop, lyrical hip hop, one thing that you gotta know is that it has to come from a place of inspiration. And we all know Logic is talented and that's one of the things that makes it frustrating with him is that we know that he could be one of the greats. But when someone tells me that Logic's putting out something with bars, so let's just go ahead and jump on into it fam and see what we got when it comes to this new freestyle. At the moment of this recording, it's got almost 600,000 views. And that seems like a very minuscule number for someone at Logic's level of stardom. You would, you would assume that this freestyle at this point would at least have a million views. And before we get started on the actual video, gotta shout out the Patreons because they're the ones that keep this channel afloat. Because as you know, reaction and breakdown channels, even though this could be considered commentary and completely within the guidelines of fair use, they're gonna strike the shit anyway. So the Patreons are the ones that keep the channel afloat and support monetarily, and certain tiers get shout outs at the beginning of videos upon sign up, so we got some to get to today. First one, Aaron Reed. Brand new, just signed up as of August 18th. Appreciate you, my guy. Next one, we got Matthew Hunt. Again, brand new as of August 18th. Appreciate you too, my guy. This person didn't put their full name, they just put the username. Kelly30STM. And actually, lastly, we got Daniel Jonas. I appreciate all of y'all and y'all support on Patreon, and I appreciate everybody that's not at the tier that gets shoutouts as well. As always, everybody else that's also subscribed to the Patreon that is not at the tier that gets the personal shoutouts, I do see y'all subscriptions as well, and I really appreciate y'all's monetary contribution to the channel. If you yourself wanna potentially become a Patreon or at least see what kind of exclusive perks Patreons get, link is in the description, first line in the description for checking that out. Really, you have no idea how much it means to the channel. But let's jump on into it, fam. Let's see what we got. Mm. You ain't got no fucking Yeezy in Serato? Mm. Sound like Shook Ones by Mob Deep right there. Hey yo, I never had a car, that's why I hate the fucking bus. Took the 61 a drummer town and hit them guns, bus, call it static. Headphones on, it's ill matter. For my Rosa Parks in the back, writing like B Rabbit, how ah. I Give me He said like Rosa Parks in the back, I be writing like B Rabbit. Y'all remember that scene from Eight Mile where he's on the bus literally writing the song Eight Mile? Still Mike, still life. Just wanna jump on the stage and just kill Mike's. But in the back of the bus, like Rosa Parks and B Rabbit, that's a bar. My Rosa Parks in the back, writing like B Rabbit, how I carry it. Give me the beat and then I'm a barrier. Producing tracks for the underground like Harriet. Two alive like twins in a womb, come hit the consume. All of my memories from past and present like two identities. Logic. First off, he said, I produce tracks for the underground like Harriet. Harriet Tubman, the Underground Railroad, Railroad Tracks. Then he said, too alive, like twins in the womb. Like I'm too alive, T-O-O -O alive, but T-O-W, like the number two alive. Like too alive, like twins in the womb. Then memories of past and present, like two identities. Like my past self and my future self, we have two different memories. That's a bar. That's a bar merch down below. 
represent like two identities Logic falling off is an obscenity Top five I better be steadily Listen now goddamn, goddamn Conversations with people mm. We see how one day the legends forget that they equal On this under oh. pressure sequel We not taking it back, we keeping it pushing People scared of change, but you'll find me deep in the cushion Reading Nostradamus at Bruh. He said we keep it pushing, we keep it moving People are scared of moving, people are scared of that change you can find me deep in the cushion. Like you can find loose change deep in the cushions of your sofa. Change, change. That's a what? And then we're talking about the Under Pressure sequel. He goes back and spits a bar from Under Pressure but switches it up. He says, God damn, God damn, conversations with people. Crazy how one day your idols forget that we're equal. Like now he's got a little bit of confidence where before and under pressure it was goddamn conversations with legends. It's crazy how one day your idols could turn into your brethren. Like back then he was saying it's crazy for me to think that I could be at the same level as these dudes. Now he's saying it's crazy for them to forget that I'm on the same level as them. Bars. People scared of change, but you'll find me deep in the cushion. Read a Nostradamus at 90 degrees, better believe. I turn a profit with ease. Die a critical lifestyle, I'm always overseas. Hurricane Bobby in the studio, blowing trees. Switch the topic, I drop it. He said, Hurricane Bobby, I'm always in the studio blowing trees. Like hurricanes blow trees. But he said, Die a critical lifestyle, I'm always overseas. Like he's overseas, literally flying internationally, but overseas, like the letter C, like a diacritical accent mark. Talking about the accents that go over certain letters to give them different phonetic sounds, like the umlauts and the enyes and the accentes. Soak that one in, because that's going to be the last time you ever hear diacritical. No rapper is going to dare to ever use that in any future song because they're just going to be like, you stole that from Bobby. But the bar of the bars right there, he said, reading Nostradamus at 90 degrees because I could turn a profit with ease. Like literally turn a profit, P-R-O-F-I-T, profit of money, but literally turn a profit, P-R-O-P-H-E-T, because he's reading Nostradamus at 90 degrees sideways. Turn a profit, turn a profit. This is the logic that we like to see. This is the logic that we want on albums. We want these type of inspired lyrics for 18 tracks on an album, not just for one freestyle. So the boy's gotta come with it, and this is what people get frustrated with Logic about because we know he's got it in the tank. Came Bobby in the studio blowing trees with the topic. I dropped it, fuck around and leave them all can cuss when I bust no thrust. Where we living in is fuck. Mm. Industry rule number 4081. Your new shit ain't good as your old shit till your new shit is your old shit, son. A your new shit ain't as good as your old shit until your new shit is your old shit. You know who had a line like that? Eminem had a line like that. Cause he's had a line like everybody. He said Marshall Mathers LP was a classic. Eminem show was fantastic. Encore just didn't have the caliber to match it. Maybe enough time just ain't passed yet. Couple years later, they'll be saying that shit was Illmatic. This is a bar by Logic cause he's talking about the rules of the industry 4081. Referencing a tribe called Quest. And you know that boy Logic stay listening to that boom bap rap. So you know he knows all about that track. So he's just continuing on on that reference. They had 4080. Here he's talking about 4081. Industry rule number 4081. Your new shit ain't good as your old shit till your new shit is your old shit, son. And this, son, let me get some. I wear this 24 karat solid gold rolly for my son as an heirloom. Not mm. for looking dope as I rhyme. As a representation to give your family your time. Searching hey. for love in the industry, you'll be let down. They don't love you till you get it and they call you profound. That's the truth. Bruh, that is the truth. They don't love you till you're gone, fam. And that's the whole point of Fade to Black on Jay-Z's Black album. They only love you till you dead or you gone. So on that note, I'm leaving after the song. So you ain't gotta feel no way about Jay so long. They don't love you till you get it and they call you profound. That's the truth. I'm close to the cliff like Rick Dalton in the booth. Ugh. Money ain't the key to happiness and it's the proof. Modern day. The boy is obviously a Quentin Tarantino fan, as we long know. But he's already working his new characters into his freestyles. Those two characters are brand new to his newest movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I think is the name. I always forget the name. So he's close to the cliff, like Rick Dalton in the booth. Those are the two characters in the movie. Secondly, are these the Red Octobers I'm looking at right here? Boy flexing on that shoe game on us? And then lastly, he said, money ain't the key to happiness, and this is the proof, because we all know that he was going through some rough shit, going through depression, going through like the worst times of his life, after he blew up and became famous. Money ain't the key to happiness and it's the proof. Modern day rap is like a golden era spoof. But a few of ah. us were surging within a second renaissance. And I know that my debutantes keeping a legacy going by flowing so involuntarily seamless. Me and my team is finally reaping what we've been sowing like a seamstress. Now listen, ah. I'm checking. He's going in, fam. It's like undeniable. 
He done said that modern day rappers are like a golden era spoof. Just like Scary Movie is a spoof of Scream, a modern day classic. And he's saying today's rappers are just spoofs of older rappers. Like Ja Rule was just a spoof of Tupac. But we bringing it back fam, there's a couple of us in the game that are still willing to spit that lyrical shit for you. The flow is so seamless, me and my team finally reaping what we sow like a seamstress. Seamless, seamstress, debutante who seamstresses create elaborate dresses for, bruh. Now listen up, check it. I said I live but I be, I die but I be since 1990. I live but I be, I die but I be like NPC a car. Hey. My name William after cause I get bills from these beats. Fuck the industry. No, we keeping it real up in these streets. I didn't realize that he named that character after the Akai beat making machine by NPC. I don't know why I never put that together. Who I named William after because I get bills from these beats. Bill is a nickname for William. I don't know why. That's just the way it works out. But he literally gets money, gets paper bills from these beats. So William, Bill, NPC, Akai. That's a bar right there. No, we keeping it real up in these streets. Came up in a world that's off its axis. All this promise, Jeff and taxes. And a dope ass tour by L O G I C. Cord Day and J I D. But hey. that shit ain't free. Now check it. <laughs> and on that note, I keep it G like track four, kicking the door by B I G. Don't believe me? Look that shit up. I promise you'll find a key to that punchline. I'm mm. feeling just fine. Did he just reference a specific track number off of B I G's album? He sure did. I don't know if you can see it right here. Kick in the door. That's dope. Yeah, don't believe me. Look that shit up. I promise you'll find a key to that punchline. I'm feeling just fine. Let the abyss of my 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 mind consume. Snap my fingers like Thanos and Bobby Boy bringing the doom. Cause I'm ah. 630. Killing shit hands down and dirty. He said I'm 630. I'm killing this shit hands down. Like the time 630. Both hands are down. Bar. And he says snap my fingers like Thanos and Bobby Boy bringing the doom. Just like Thanos did in Endgame. No, it wasn't Endgame, it was Infinity War, where he snapped and half of the universe disintegrated. Oh, cause I'm 630, killing shit hands down and dirty. That white boy can't rap, he talk good and act dirty. Feeling good, yeah, I'm feeling lovely. Backyard sunset, sipping on that bubbly. Hey. Ice tube in my nightcap, it was a good day. You heard what the hood say. Bruh, he's fucking going in. Ice cube in my nightcap. It was a good day. Like Ice Cube put the song out. It was a good day. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. Roll them in a circle and, and watch me break them with the seven. Seven eleven, seven eleven, seven even back though, little joke. Ice Cube in my nightcap, it was a good day. You heard what the hood say. Logic what you should play. Killing shit like OJ. I'm rhyming like OJ. Hip hop, hey. but now I'm playing with like I'm play all day. We get it like that. We got it, got it all day. Nothing but peace, love, and positivity to Bruh. the whole wild. Killing shit like OJ. I'm rapping like old J. Like old Jay Z. Back in his prime. Nothing but peace, love, and positivity to the whole wild world. Rap Pack, you already know what it is, man. Bobby Boy Records, we out this bitch. Yeah. And I'm having a little baby. Surprise, it's a little baby boy. Fuck TMZ, they can't get the scoop on that shit. <laughs> Welcome, little Bobby, to the world one time. Bruh, TMZ was on it about his new marriage and how they went to the courthouse to get that marriage certificate. So he's saying, fuck TMZ for putting my news out there before I could get it out there. But he's a playful sport. He's a good sport. But yo, that was a bop. He went in straight for those three minutes, fam. Did his damn thing. That's what we want to hear. We want that logic on every single track. We want that passion. We want that charisma. We want that swag. I thought that that was fire. I see why people wanted me to listen to it. And now I'm actually kind of upset that it's only got 600,000 views. Like the world needs to hear that type of hip hop to know that lyrics matter, to know that lyricism matters. Cause it's the only genre of music that does that. It's the only genre of music that plays with the English language like that. Fire. I appreciate everybody that's watching this. I appreciate everybody that suggested that I do this song. I saw it, I was probably gonna get around to it anyway, but y'all pushed me over the edge to do it with the quickness that I did, or at least with the quickness that I possibly could, or at least in the fastest time possible that I could do. Your boy's got a full-time job. The dream would be to make videos all day, every day, and put them out like that, but I can't. But the Patreons might help me get to that point, so if you wanna feel free to, you know, send a donation my way, feel free to do so with the link in the description, or cop some of that merch. Buy that merch, buy that merch. But yo, for real, everybody that's here, I appreciate your time. If you're new here and you like what you see and you like this format of this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Like I always say at the end of every video, hit the notification bell, even though it doesn't work, it makes me feel good. A for effort, famo.
but I appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate all the old subscribers, all the Patreons. But like I say at the end of every video, go out there and spread positivity and love into the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll see y'all guys on the next video. Peace.